Welcome back. Well, his eligibility as a player might be up, but former SDSU quarterback Zach Lujan is still spending a lot of time on the football field this year in a different role for the Jacks. For more on Lujan's transition from player to coach, here's Tom Neiman. For me, it's a great situation to, to be in a scenario where I played here. Um, uh, I understand the system. The coaches know me. The coaches respect me. And uh, I'm able to have a little bit of an input in those kind of things. So I'm just tr trying to continue to learn and, and do a good job of what I'm asked to do. Zach Lujan thought he would be in law school right now. But instead, he is in his first season as an assistant coach in charge of offensive quality control. Breaking down film, evaluating play calls, running the scout team defense. Really an extension of what he'd been doing for the last three years. Go back to the summer of 2014. Jack's quarterback Austin Sumner is coming off of shoulder surgery. Zach Lujan thinks he is going back for his second year at a junior college in California. But SDSU offensive coordinator Eric Eidsness is in need of an insurance policy at quarterback. Coach E, you know, apparently likes something I put on film and Gave me a call, I was up here the next week and committed a day after that. So it was, uh, it was kind of a whirlwind process. First game of the 2014 season at Missouri. Sumner goes down with an injury in the first quarter. And Lou Han, who really didn't expect to play at all that season, is called into action. I, I didn't even know where my helmet was. You know, I was on the other side of the field, so I had to run and grab that before I started warming up. And you know, I get out there, just wide-eyed. His first pass seems like a safe bet to Jake Winicky, But Winicky drops it on third down. So I came out of the game and I was I like, you know, I was going way too fast, just mind all over the place and everything. And it wasn't until I got uh, in the locker room at halftime and kind of saw somebody there and he's like, hey, just calm down. You know, it's just football, like no big deal. So yeah, it's just football against the SEC reigning champions. Well, Lujan settles down and settles in for the season, makes the Missouri Valley Conference all newcomer team that year. He goes five and two as a starter until Sumner comes back for the last six games of the season. Lujan takes over as the starter in 2015. He goes down injured midway through the season, but makes his return in the second half at South Dakota to lead the Jacks on two scoring drives in a comeback 30-23 win and reinforces his growing reputation for keeping his cool. And that stability and leadership was never more on display than it was last year when sophomore Taryn Christian beat out the senior Lujan for the starting quarterback job. Lujan again became the team's most valuable backup and the team's most mature mentor. So that was kind of my role on the team was, was the, the rock, if you will, um, someone who's stable no matter what. So um, that, that's something I really took to heart and, and tried to embrace throughout my, my whole time here. So back to now, or at least a few months ago, Lujan was set to go to law school, but not necessarily to be a lawyer but to be a sports agent. I went and took my LSATs and everything like that. I uh, was fortunate to do fairly well. Um, and then, you know, just the more I thought about it and as, as you know, everything went on, uh, I want to I coach football. So he goes to his head coach and he tells him that. And Stig... He told me to go to law school. <laughs> and then he laughed at me. Um, so I said, no, coach, this is something I'm serious about. You know, I've always obviously been passionate about football. It's something that's always come really natural to me. And I, I, you know, think I really understand the game and want to continue to do so. Um, he said, that's, that's awesome, you know, we'd be lucky to have you. The fact of the matter is this, you know, I'm a 22-year-old kid um, new to this profession, whereas Coach Stig's been here as a head coach about as long as I've been alive. Um, so there's still a lot to learn. 